my first day in first year was pretty good. I was very scared and very nervous, but all the teachers and all the pupils were very welcoming. And it was very nice because I hardly knew any of the people in my class. But now I've got to get really friendly with them and everybody's really friendly, really welcome. Well, the first day I was really excited. I wasn't, I was a bit nervous, but wasn't that nervous because I knew some people that were going into my class. I remember being amazed at how big the school was and just how many teachers and classes there were. I remember walking through the front entrance on the first day and Mr McDonald and Mr Maxwell was welcoming everyone and I remember going into the assembly hall to meet my form class and uh, that Mr Maxwell was talking about a quote he says a lot and I felt kind of a bit nervous because I didn't know a lot of people but I knew a few people which helped a lot. I love technology at Kirk First Grammar School because you build a lot of things. I also love digital technology because you go on the computers. Let me show you around the workshop. We have the bobbin sander which you shape the wood. The finished product looks like this. We also have the pedestal drill and the polisher to make the acrylic strips nice and shiny. We also have the belt linisher which we use to build the super bowl. It's probably going to be the first thing you build at Carrot Grammar. It's amazing. I have it on my desk currently. Um, I can't wait to see you next year and I hope you enjoy technology as much as I do. My favourite thing about school is how friendly the pupils are. Everybody's really friendly no matter what year it is or if they're in your class or in our class. I really love the, like, the, how people are friendly and the family environment, how we're all like, really nice to each other and we all work together as a team. I take a part in hockey and SU and I take part in some musical instrument lessons. I love uh, getting, all, getting to do all the new classes, uh, like the practical ones, art, technology, things like that. Welcome to the art department in Carrick Fergus Grammar School. Here, they teach you how to use tools to draw and how to use them properly. Here, there's lots of faces that people have created. I personally like this one because it's very cartoony. We've actually been making a comic strip for homework. It's going all right. Over here, a class has been making some abstract drawings. They're very creative. And over here are some clay pots that people have molded. Maybe this could be one of yours. Up here is the finished product when it's painted and modeled. As you can see, Carrick Fergus Grammar School gives us all the necessities for art lovers. I hope to see you in the art department in Carrick Fergus Grammar School next year. It's opened my eyes to a lot of sports and a lot of different subjects I never did in primary school, such as like digital technology, which is one of my favourites as well. It's opened my eyes to how many uh, careers there are for adults all around the world and that they sometimes seem hard, but if you uh, practice them, they are quite easy. Hello, my name is Lee and I go to Carrick Fergus Grammar School. Right now I am actually stood outside of the language departments at the Spanish rooms and if you were to follow me up you would head to the French rooms and I actually learn in room 3 which is this room to the right right here. In here is where I sit and this is the room where I study and learn French and revise. Right now we have been learning numbers, colours and negatives which are all on the wall. And I would like to say that this school is really great and also I think you could really go here because it's a really good school. You know, you know I've, been, I've enjoyed every minute of it. I've never played rugby before, before I came here and obviously rugby is their main sport so I've really got to like rugby. Hello, my name's Jack and I'm in first year of Carrick Fergus Grammar and I'm at the rugby, after school rugby at the minute and we're just, I didn't really play rugby before I went to, for, or went to secondary school and then I just sort of started to play because we had games and stuff and PE and then I just sort of started to like it. So sometimes in games on uh, a Friday uh, we get to play matches or we'll just do more training and then uh, if we're playing a match uh, we have to like do plenty of warming up uh, at the start of it and sometimes you get to get out of class early which is pretty good and then it, if you're playing away we get to go on the bus and it's really good like fun 
when you're just sitting and talking to all your mates before it and it's really good. Uh, I hope to see you all, you all on the pitch next year and good luck. My experience at Carrick Grammar has been very positive. I have made so many new friends and I have a great rapport with all of my teachers. I've also gained many different perspectives from school, um, such as I do sport, music, and I also do four A levels. I do biology, chemistry, maths, and Spanish, and I'm very passionate about all of them. I would like to pursue a career in midwifery and stay at home to study at Queen's University. I love helping people, and I can't think of a more rewarding job, and Carrick Grammar has handed me many different experiences, such as the mentor scheme to help develop my communication skills. More than anything, I think it's Carrick Fergus Grammar's helped me develop my confidence. Uh, whenever I joined in first year, I was ver a very quiet child, but now that I'm in year 14, having been able to make better friends and develop really good relationships with teachers, I have been able to develop my confidence and uh, get involved with extracurriculars such as the tutor reading group, which my English class puts, class puts on. Uh, where we read through the first years to help them develop their reading levels. After year 14, I want to go on to study anthropology, either at Edinburgh or at Queen's. For sports, from the different clubs, especially with hockey, I've played hockey since year eight and got to do talent development programs and do Ulster hockey trials, as well as go on different tours. We went to Newcastle just before COVID hit, which was really good. It's like a last holiday before we got to go away and um, we're hoping to get on one very soon in the next couple months. I'm hoping to study physiotherapy at Ulster University. I want to do this because I've always been interested in working in a patient-centred profession. My favourite aspect of school life is definitely music. I've been a part of the Music Society for the past seven years doing concert band and choir and then play my clarinet which I was able to get a grade 8 with distinction. It's just been so good, the whole family there is so lovely and everybody's really nice and it's definitely my favourite aspect. My next move is hopefully to Queen's where I hope to study law with Spanish and then hopefully live in Spain for a while. And I've gained a lot from uh, studying at Carrick Grammar. It sort of opened all of my options up. I didn't really realise how many subjects you could sort of study because at primary school you're sort of limited to your maths and English, whereas you came in secondary school and then, you know, you've got about 14, 15 different subjects you can choose from. So that was really good to have the choice. And I'm very happy with the, you know, what I've gained from learning four A levels and my GCSEs. I think it's good for anybody that likes, would like to make good friends and have a good time. I would recommend it to anyone that wants a new experience of life and being able to find out new things. I would recommend it because it's like a really good school and uh, we have a lot of different clubs and activities for new people to join.